Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. We're here for another one of our Tidy Fridays. So this is another, another glory cupboard. This is a cupboard that's behind my desk. It's next to my lovely drawers um, that the kind Mary Ann bought me. And inside, yes, more rubbish. I've got four of these huge, um, you know, Ikea boxes. These are the large size ones. Um, so they're kind of like bigger than photo boxes. I'm not really quite sure what you'd call these. Um, but yeah, as you can see, lots of rubbish going on in here. So this is my stamps one that I have been kind of sorting. Obviously, I still have more work to do in that. Now, this one here is another one of stamps, but this is kind of like birthday card stamps. Really stamps that I'm not particularly um, using anymore these days. And I should probably have a good sort out of those, which will hopefully come in a few weeks as well. Um, and then down here, this started, would you believe, as quite an organised box of fabrics. And over time, it's, you know, as per everything in my area, it's just overflowed. Um, this here, actually, this was my son's um, little journal that he made uh, when we first started or when I first started getting into journaling, he made one as well. Um, but this box here, this is all of my handmade cards that I kind of keep in my stash. So what I thought that I'm going to do is actually take all of these cards out. I mean, some of these cards are my really old cards, you know, that um, from when I first started card making. And to be honest, they're probably so basic and just horrible that I wouldn't really use them anymore anyway. So I probably could do with actually updating them and kind of altering them to make them slightly more, you know, elegant looking cards. Um, that I wouldn't feel too embarrassed to give to people. <laughs> and um, yeah, then what I'm going to do is store the cards with kind of their accompanying envelope in a box downstairs in my bedroom. So that when I need a card, I grab it from there. And then that way I will have these two boxes then that I can fold up fabrics and put fabrics in. That's the plan. So I'm going to pull this box out and just literally, <clears throat> I mean, as you can see, we've got like a card here um, just a kind of, you know, boys or man's card, really. Oh, it says dad. So obviously that was one that I've made, obviously, you know, can't even remember now. Little baby boy card and things. Um, I know I've talked before, but I mean, obviously, you know, when my boys were a bit younger, most of the cards that I needed were obviously boys birthday cards. So I've got quite a few of those, um, you know, that I had kind of ready in my stash. So I'm going to kind of just sort them out, put them with some envelopes and then keep them, um, you know, in my bedroom so that when I need a card, that's just a nice wedding card that I had made. Um, and then I'm going to have this box empty and I'm <clears throat> going to start storing or, you know, um, sorting through some fabrics. So I'm just going to empty the box first. OK, so I've emptied the box. I've got the box here. And then here I've got a whole pile of fabrics, which I just literally pulled out. So I'm going to go through them and fold them up and um, store them in the box. And then I've also got, this is just like a little old phone, well, it's an iPad, um, you know, box. I had it for years and um, yeah, obviously don't need the box anymore. So I'm going to put tiny scraps of fabric into there so that, you know, when I come to make snippet rolls and things like that, I've got some fabric scraps straight in here. So I'm just going to put the camera up and then we'll get... OK, so first up, I've got this um, vintage kind of duvet set. So I'm going to try and put it on its side, really, um, so that hopefully I can, you know, get lots of other things in. Because I noticed that when I put it in just now flat, it was obviously taking up so much room. So this is the pillowcase. It, it did have two pillowcases. I'm not sure where the other one is. Probably buried still in the cupboard. So I'm just going to kind of squash that up with that. And then I've got lots of beautiful sort of upholstery type fabrics. A lot of these were from the lovely Laura. So I have used some as covers in journals, but these are some of the ones that I haven't used. And again, I'm going to try and store them like sideways on. And the only reason I'm doing this is because with my papers in my, you know, glory glory hole cupboard that I've got I just had this wonderful comment from somebody and I can't remember who it was so I do apologize but she just came up with this genius idea and just said why don't you store your papers on their sides instead of on top of each other because obviously they'd be much more easy you know easily accessible and wow what a game changer you know of course that makes more sense why did I not really think of that I have no idea so I'm going to try and store these more like this so that I can just have a little peek and see roughly what that piece of fabric is because hopefully I will then kind of remember enough 
to jog my memory as to what fabric that is. So as I say, some of these I have already been using and some are, you know, completely unused pieces. So I'm just going to move this over actually. So like that. And um, then this one. So, I mean, as you can see, I've been really spoiled by Laura. She's given me some really lovely upholstery fabrics, um, you know, over the time. So this is going to be much better for me be able to be able to, you know, access them and see at a glance what they are. Because, you know, of course, when they're kind of buried, you can't really get to them particularly easily. So I'm just going to kind of put them in sideways on like this okay so I'm trying to put all of the bigger pieces in this um, box because of course you know this is a laundry bag that I got um, and I well I'd got it thinking I was going to make some journal covers obviously as yet I haven't done that but who knows maybe one day I will um, get around to actually using it for uh, what I bought it for I'll just pop that in there for the time being Okay, and then I've got this. Now, this is a kind of smaller piece. I don't really think I've probably got enough here to do a complete journal cover. This is probably the type of thing that I would prefer to keep for snippet rolls and things. Um, but it is quite big. It's going to take up quite a bit of room in my, you know, what I was thinking would be a scraps box. It's quite a big scrap. But I'm going to put it in there and then we'll kind of, you know, address it. If it gets to the point where it's, you know bursting at the seams and I've barely got anything in there I might have to have a rethink so this was some beautiful lace I think Laura as well had gifted me this and again you know I'm just going to put it in here because then I'm going to be able to get to it much much more easily so this again is some lovely fabric that Laura had gifted me and I've used this I think on two journals actually um yeah I think I've actually used it twice again this is probably for the scraps box now because obviously you know it's not sort of a big piece that's left. So I'll just put that in there. This is a cushion cover, which again, you know, I was planning on sort of using as a journal cover. As yet, I obviously haven't, but again, you know, if it's kind of more visible and more accessible, I perhaps will, um, you know, be able to get to it a little bit easier. Okay, I think that's it for my kind of quite neat pieces. Um, oops, no, I've got a sort of linen piece now. Again, I think this was gifted to me by Laura. And I have started using this. This isn't really for covers and things. This is more for, I can't think, I used some of it the other day and I can't think now what I used it for. I might have used it for stamping on and things like that. So again, I'm going to put that in like that. I mean, it's really helpful, I just think, to have them, you know, sideways on where you can kind of see. It's just a little bit more helpful. Well, I hope it is. I mean, obviously, obviously this is a new method for me, but I've got this little cute dress of my daughter's. Super sweet, isn't it? So she had two of these. She had one of these the year before in the smaller size. And I had already cut that up and I coffee dyed it and made um, ruffles from it. And they worked beautifully so i'm going to keep that and eventually when i get around to it do the same with that this is that lovely skirt of hers that i took the tassels off for my autumn journal so again just going to kind of fold that down and pop that in here so i mean obviously it's getting a little bit messier now because these aren't you know nice neat fabrics i've got this skirt of hers as well which is this kind of chambre i don't know whether that's the term actually but Anyway, and it's got this gorgeous kind of lacy embroidery on glaze type trim on the bottom. So again, you know, it's not the neatest for storing because of course it's, you know, a gathered skirt, which isn't folding nice and neat and flat like the upholstery fabrics, but equally, you know, it does go in there. And I've got quite a bit of room in there actually to get more things. So, oops, I've now got this gorgeous fabric, which I can't remember. Who gifted this to me, I'm afraid, so I do apologise. But again, going to put that in there. It's, you know, a bit more kind of visible and a bit more easily accessible. And then I've got some other fabrics down here. 
So I've got this tiny bit left of a dress of my daughter's. Well, actually, I say tiny. It's actually quite big. Um, this was only a, a dress from when she was about one or two. So I'm surprised that there was so much fabric because I think I've used this for a journal cover and all sorts. And uh, I'm still going. Still more fabric left. So that's that one. And then, oh, she, she had this lovely skirt. I don't even know if she ever wore this. I've got to be truthful. You know, I bought it in the sale um, one year and yeah, I don't think she ever even wore it to be honest. But anyway, hopefully we'd make a really pretty journal cover. So again, I'm just going to tuck that in here like that. Uh, oh, another skirt of hers. How super cute is this? So, I mean, for a start, you've got all lots of flowers on here. I don't know how easily that they would come off, whether they would just fall apart. Um, but, you know, lots of this, um, oh, what do you call this fabric? What do you call this? Oh, anyway, one of those skirts, which I always find this kind of stuff quite good for layering and, you know, sometimes for closures and things like that. So that's in there. I've got another one of those in black. So again, really handy to use as closures and things like that. So I'm going to just tuck that in here. Okay, right. I'm now probably coming to a point where it's going to start getting a little bit messier. So I've got this gorgeous plum type colour. Well, I don't know whether that's plum really. I don't know what to describe that colour as, but maybe an aubergine um, fabric there. I've got this gorgeous floral. And again, just going to kind of fold it down because I mean, I don't need to see much of it to, you know, to spot it. Just a little corner, let me just move the camera slightly. Just a tiny corner poking out is more than enough to kind of jog the memory and you think, oh, that's that fabric. Um, you know, so that's all I need. I've got this spotty, so that's a little scrap I'm going to put in the scraps box. I've got this little piece of that dress again. It's a scrap, so into the scraps box that goes. I have got this, again, quite a small piece, so again into the scraps box. Then I've got this one, again, this is a bigger piece, so again, just tuck that kind of in here. And then this one here, so I love this, this navy blue with these flowers, it's super pretty, isn't it? So I'm just going to kind of fold it. I mean, I probably, probably really should iron all of these fabrics first, but you know me, I'm not going to do that. So um, just going to fold them over. And like I say, I mean, all I'm hoping to do is just have enough poking out that, you know, A, it reminds me of that fabric and B, you know, that at a glance, if I'm looking for it, I will spot it and then I'll know which fabric it is. So that's kind of that. I've got this gorgeous kind of pale sage type colour, kind of satin fabric. So that again, I can just pop in here. And I have to say, I mean, this box is swelling, swelling at the sides, but it's quite shocking how much I can actually squeeze in here, to be honest. Got this little piece here. Just pop that down there. And then have I got any other big, biggish bits? Uh, yeah. So I just take these couple of bits now and just kind of squash them in as well. Okay. Right. So that box is looking pretty, you know, pretty full now. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And then what you can't see is obviously the fabric that I pulled out, there's a whole bunch now that's just dropped onto the floor, um, you know, whilst I was going through all those little bits and pieces. So I'm just going to pull them in. And obviously these are going to go in my fabric scraps bin, or not bin, but box, um, you know, because they really are quite small pieces. So we'll just pull them all in. Nearly done, hold on. Okay. Right. Okay. So what have we got here? I mean, ridiculous, because that's so tiny, but I do still really like it. So I'm just going to put that in the scraps bin. I got this, that was my stamping on fabric, which I love how that looks. 
So I'll pop that in there. I've got this lovely green hessian. This is a bigger bit, so actually I'm just going to tuck that into that box as well. So we just tuck that in there. Oh, this again is big-ish. <coughs> Excuse me, so I'll just tuck that down into that bigger box as well. Um, again, this is, you know, pretty tiny, so I'm just going to put that in my scraps box. That one, that one, this one here. This one um, actually is brilliant for, you know, ruffles or snippet roll bases. So again, I'm going to keep that in here with the scraps because that's an ideal base. I've got this one here. Uh, this, which I can't actually even see. No, I'll keep that for maybe stamping and things. I am not going to bother with that. That was some old shorts of my son's when he was, you know, tiny. Uh, this piece again, which I mean that maybe I should put that with my appliques and things, so keep that separate. This again, quite a small piece left now for snippets and things. Another smallish scrap here. Another one here. Oh, love this fabric. So that will go there. Tiny-ish, tiny-ish bit here. I mean, just perfect for snippets and things. This is a bigger piece again. So I'm just going to put that into the box. And that way, you know, I can even see then when I've got sort of plainer fabrics and things like that for, you know, stamping on and things. Uh, I've got this one. Just put that in there. This is some kind of faux satiny stuff that I had inked, dyed um, to make flowers from and things. So I'm just going to tuck that in the box as well. Okay. This one, again, I mean, this is a reasonable size, to be honest. So I'm going to just pop that one in the box. Wow, I missed quite a few of these reasonable size pieces, obviously, didn't I? So, uh, yeah, right, we've got kind of scrap there. This is some shirt, which I've coffee dyed, which, again, brilliant for things like stamping and what have you. So that will go there. Again, base for snippet. So that can go in... Um, this, there's not much there. I have already stamped on it, as you can see, which obviously I didn't remember that till I opened it. But again, perfect for snippet rolls and things. So I'll pop that in. This little blue piece. Pop that in here. I mean, already my scraps bin is, or box, I must stop calling it box. This I'm going to put into the, the big box. And this one, actually, because that's quite a big size. And this. So... Yeah, and I think the rest is all for the scraps. Oh, no, maybe this one as well into the box. And everything else can go into the scraps bin. So I will uh, show you how I'm getting on in a second with the big box. So all of these pieces I'm going to keep for things like snippet rolls and things like that. So essentially kind of fabric scraps. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to have to do couple of videos soon of um you know to to whittle this down a little bit because otherwise my my scraps box already is overflowing and I've only just made it so uh, that's just not good is it okay and um, that's just an applique put that out separately another little piece of fabric there and there and some more fabric there okay so that's looking pretty good and I'm going to keep this beside my desk which again I'm going to show you in a moment how I've kind of organized that but I'm just going to show you what my box looks like now okay so I mean it's bursting out the seams but really really great because I can just pull that out and rummage through the fabrics so I've got the other box to do so I'm just going to put this one back and pull the other one out okay so I've pulled out the other box and um we're going to just sort the fabrics out for that as well and I do have more fabrics would you believe in that cupboard so we'll see how we get on and we might be able to pull in some of those as well Okay, so I've emptied the box out and I've got more beautiful kind of upholstery fabric here. Again, this was sent to me by Laura. So I'm going to start by kind of putting that in at this end. Um, and again, I'm just going to kind of do it all sideways on so that hopefully, you know, it really can see at a glance what's in here. So just sort of laying it, laying it up. 
that's another little tiny, tiny kind of scrap there. Oops, I've got some lace. I just need some bigger bits here to, um, you know, for it to lay against. Otherwise, it keeps wanting to obviously topple over. So, just squash some fabric in straight away. Oh, I've got more of this fabric, which I, you see, I didn't realise that I had more of this because what happens is you use it and then it gets put away in the cupboard and, you know, piled on top of each other. You never can really see, you know, what's lower down in the pile. So I'm hoping that this really is going to work much better to be able to see what's actually in there. So, whoops, something else dropping off the chair. Uh, this was I don't know whether this was a dress of my mum it's something of my mum's so again I don't want the actual dress I just want the lace so probably what would be you know quite a good idea now to save a little bit of space is just to cut the whole lace panel off right now um not you know I'm not taking too much notice as to how I'm cutting it because once I start thinking it or you know thinking about it I'll be overthinking it so I'm going to get rid of the whole dress because it's that crepey kind of um, fabric which I would probably struggle to use but now I've got this lovely pink lace so again this is not you know the neatest to kind of have folded but you can just kind of squash it in there and it's slightly visible okay what else do I have I've got here a child's apron but again it's got some useful colors and things so just going to put that in like that I've got some shorts which again children's shorts but again they're just perfect color for stamping and things and then I've got some more you know decent sized bits of fabric here that I can just kind of squash in around on their sides so that I can keep them visible I don't know what that is oh that's some painted faux leather um, that I did a long time ago so again just going to put that down there might even might even put that just poking in there perhaps yep okay I have a tea towel this was like a kind of free gift tea towel I'm going to just put that in there because who knows maybe that would come in useful at some point i've got this fabric here this was like a fabric sample so that's again you know would come in handy i've got this fabric here so just kind of putting them all in you know sideways on so that hopefully at a glance i can just see things you know quite neatly and quite nicely okay this was some Oh, gorgeous blue velvet fabric. Unfortunately, I'm down to just a kind of snippet of that left. Or, you know, just a tiny bit of that left, which is such a shame because it's such gorgeous fabric. Um, but yeah, it's uh, now on its, you know, last little bit left. I've also got this handbag. Again, an old, old handbag of mine, which I don't use anymore. And I thought I would cut it out and use some of the flowers and things. Still haven't gotten around to that, but I'm going to put that in again sort of sideways on right at the end of the box if I just kind of you know hopefully you saw that and um, then it's it's visible and you know hopefully I won't forget it got these gorgeous fabrics here these kind of green florals put those in again sideways on so they're really nice and you know noticeable in the box and then this here Okay, let's put that in there. I mean, you know, this box is going to be slightly more higgledy-piggledy than the other one, unfortunately, because, um, you know, the other one was really nice, neat pieces of fabric in the main. So, you know, it was obviously quite easy to kind of have them folded and stored really nicely. But this one is, um, you know, got slightly more odds and pieces, you know, different sizes and things. So I've got this, this with some sleeves off of an old blouse, more there, so again just put those in, they've got some pink thread hanging on them but that's fine. Right, what's this? Uh, this is some that I've stamped Home Sweet Home, oh, I guess that's quite sweet. Oh, I mean that was probably for cards to be honest but I guess I might use it. So 
again try and keep that home sweet home bit visible perhaps I've got some felt I'll just put that down here and then I've got this lovely red red fabric I can just go down there and I've got this white lace okay so I mean these laces because obviously I stored my or you know um what's the word sorted my laces a few weeks back but obviously those laces were lengths of lace these are kind of random pieces of lace so they don't particularly you know fit kind of or like on a reel or on a roll um they're a little bit more tricky to store so i've also got my fabric sample pieces that laura had kindly gifted me so i have those here let me just got this little fabric scrap here and that boat's quite sweet oh, perhaps i'll put the boat in the scraps to do like snippet rolls again these are really great for doing um pockets and things so i might come on and do you know a couple of videos using up a couple of these bits and pieces and that's it because the rest of the stuff here i've just got some organza here again for making kind of flowers and things so i'll just put that in here more of this lace and then here this was just a sort of old skirt and again probably won't use this again i've already used this on a journal somewhere um so i probably won't use it again and it's only a tiny piece so i won't bother keeping the fabric i'm just going to take the buttons because they might be quite good to use somewhere in the future. So that's another piece of fabric gone from my from my stash. I mean, I can't say as it's like really quick progress, but some, some progress is being made. Right, a couple more things off the floor that had obviously dropped off the chair just now. So a couple more pieces. Oh, this is that lovely patchwork from Laura really, really nice. So again, just going to kind of put that kind of endways on this is some more of that lovely you know faux satin stuff that I had inked and dyed with the inks so again just pop that on sideways right now the other thing that was in that box oops sorry just discovered a couple more things that had dropped off the chair um so in that box also which had made their way in there was I had I'll just bring them in I had sort of half started projects so let's just put those there for a minute oh some more of this lovely green fabric so again just pop that in there got some black lace which actually I'll just put this in my little bag beside my desk because I may use that quite soon okay just got some sort of flowers there just sticking onto this felt okay right take off all the salvageable pieces here okay right so these i'll just put these in with my scrap spots and then this gorgeous color green felt i will just obviously put into this box here like that okay right um oh no <laughs> still not finished yet so these are some fabric upholstery sample pieces that I had got um a long time ago so I will put those in kind of next to Laura's and that way I can you know remember those when I come to do the project right now what else was in the box was I had these um ring binder pieces had these for years and years I mean like probably 10 years but I'll just um well I was going to put them in there but that's probably just back to my old shoddy ways isn't it of um just keeping you know everything and anything and putting it all in one box i also had started another one of those lovely cd mini albums i'd also cut down a children's book to make a little mini album from oh so i've got these which these are just some kind of photo map pieces and then I had another couple of kind of pieces of like mini albums, which I'd kind of started and then not obviously completed. So I might put those actually under my desk into my unfinished projects pile, you know, in my little storage unit that I got from Ikea. So I'm just sliding those all in, in there. 
and then I can, you know, maybe return to those or not, as the case may be. So, yeah, okay, right, so that's all of that stuff there. And I'm just going to now pull in a few more bits of fabric from my other cupboard that we can put into these gaps. I'm going to take these out because that's just very naughty behaviour, kind of just putting them in there. So I'll put these somewhere else and I would just grab out just a couple of other pieces of fabric that would just fit in this little patch here. Okay, so I just bought out a whole bunch more fabrics from my, my cupboard beside me, which again, you know, was full of fabrics that, to be honest, had got buried on top of one another. And, you know, I could no longer see. So again, you know, I spotted a whole ton of fabrics that I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I had that all along or, you know, I forgot I had that. So it's really, really, really handy, I think, or going to be really, really handy to have my fabrics a bit more visible, you know, sideways on like this, I think is going to be, you know, really helpful because honestly, I mean, if you can't see them, you're not really going to use them, are you? So um, keeping them kind of sideways on, I think is going to be, you know, very helpful for me anyway. So I'll just pop this one down here. Okay, right. And then I've got these couple, I mean, look at this. And I had obviously forgotten all about that because it had become buried in the cupboard. Again, I think these have been gifted to me by Laura and yeah, I obviously had kind of put them away when I first got them, hoarding them because I didn't want to use them, which is again, something I kind of do with Happy Mail things. And, you know, hoarding them to such an extent that then they become buried and, you know, no longer can even find them. So, um, yeah, this is going to hopefully be really super helpful to have them a bit more easily accessible and easily noticeable. So I've got this gorgeous fabric, which I know I showed this in a video when I first bought it because I just loved it so much. So again, just pop that here down the side. So, I mean, this box is very higgledy-piggledy compared to the other box because, of course, you know, the pieces are you know, random sizes and shapes and things like that. So it's not going to make an aesthetically pleasing piece to put put into the cupboard. But, you know, that said, it's going to hopefully be, you know, much more practical nonetheless. So again, just wedging that kind of down to the side like that. So I don't know whether you can even see those bits. So they're on there now. They're poking out quite a lot, but you know, that's fine. I don't mind that. Okay, right, have I got everything? that I want to go in here. Oops, I'm just grabbing a couple more pieces of fabric that are down, down the side that would just be ideal. So I've got some brown satin, which again, you know, I use this for making the flower petals. So again, just fold that down and just kind of wedge that in just down here, I think, like that. Okay, and then I've got that gorgeous yellow lace how pretty is that? I think I have used this in a journal and I can't think which journal it was, but I'm pretty sure I did use it somewhere. Um, I've got this gorgeous fabric here. So again, that can just tuck down in there. And then this gorgeous fabric, which I know I was kind of hoarding this, but again, hoarding it and now turned into, you know, becoming buried. So it's really great to have pulled it out now and be able to see it clearly. Okay, right, I think that's going to be it really for that box. Oops, one more piece, or maybe two. So I've got this gorgeous fabric, which again was gifted to me by the lovely Laura and I have recently been using this on the cover of a journal. Um, but yeah, she was very generous with it. So I have quite a lot left. So I'm just going to tuck that down in here. And then I've just got some aubergine colour lace, so I might just tuck that in as well. So again, just kind of fold that down. I mean, like I say, this box is not going to look very neat because, you know, just the nature of obviously all the fabrics being more like scraps. I mean, they're big scraps, but, you know, they're not kind of neat rectangle pieces or anything like that. Right, so that's all I'm going to get in there. It's really bursting out the seams. So I'm just going to kind of show you the whole box now. 
So that's the whole box, full, full, full. And I'm going to just put it away and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so that's my two fabric boxes side by side in the cupboard. So it's awesome, isn't it? Don't know quite what I'm going to use this slither of space for. Rest assured, I will be putting something in there. Of course, I'm not going to just leave it empty. I could um, put some more fabric in there. The problem is it's likely to just turn into like a big junk, um, you know, storage kind of area. So I'm going to give that some thought. And yeah, any suggestions? Greatly appreciated, obviously, as always. So hope that that's given you some ideas of how to store your fabrics. I mean, I'm going to love this because I can just pull these out and see at a glance all the pretty colours and the pretty fabrics, um, you know, which I think is going to be way easier for me. So yeah, um, thank you so much for joining and hopefully see you guys again soon. Thanks, Anne.